Over at the People's House, no deal to make insulin more affordable yet. Why that is, well, it depends on who you ask. But where that leaves us? What we are left with is absolutely unacceptable. There are people who need insulin right now, today, as we speak, who need this life-saving medication and simply can't afford it. And that goes for people who don't have insurance, and it goes for people who do have insurance. That's just fact. But Berkham, who has been writing about health care for years, goes further than fact and is calling on a few groups to act right now. The hospitals and the insurers, I think, have been sitting on the sidelines. They have a great example opportunity here to show what the private sector can do, to show how it can innovate to be a problem solver. So they need to step it up. She's talking about our nonprofit hospitals and insurers, and she's suggesting they fill the void over the next couple of months and get affordable insulin to those insured people who just can't afford it in their high deductible plans. Not forever, just until the state fixes this. We have these great insurers, we have, you know, we have these great medical providers. Why can't they figure out something that can at least get somebody through a crisis, however long it could be? Is it possible for them to do that? It's always possible for them to do that. And I, I note that uh, the insurers did quite well this year. Their operating income uh, was up to $500 million. That's up from $227.8 million last year. And these nonprofit insurers and hospitals, they are, by tax law, looked at differently in so much as they are kind of expected to do the right thing. We also give our nonprofit hospitals and our nonprofit insurers preferential tax treatment because of their nonprofit status. And in return, there is an expectation, although not a legal requirement, that they will provide something called a community benefit. Berkham argues just getting affordable insulin to the 26,000 patients in Minnesota would be a community benefit. And for those big players in Minnesota nonprofit insurance and hospitals, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota, Health Partners, Medica, Preferred One, UCARE, Sanford Health, and Hennepin Health, another big benefit awaits them, in her opinion. The public relations benefit from stepping up and doing this would be tremendous. This is publicity that you couldn't buy with all the advertising dollars in the world. So here's a chance to do good, to do right, and to create goodwill that reflects positively back on your company, potentially giving it a competitive advantage over for-profit insurers entering the market. Something to think about. And also this issue Jill thinks should really be something the federal government makes some change on. That would really change the game nationwide. But again, waiting for that to happen isn't something many states are keen on waiting on, not to mention the actual people that it affects.